for you, Bill. Bill, did you know we could carry a conversation across the band room? Bill, this is the lesson for today. Allison. A L L Y S O N. Allison. One of the first things that I learned at a rookie, as a rookie, was that there are three times. Eastern Standard Time, Daylight Savings Time, and Bill Young Time. You wanna hear a dirty joke? One white horse fell in some mud. <laughs> what has wings and clicks? Mr. Young with the metronome. <laughs> Mr. Young used to always, always put the saxophones down. But I always wanted to tell you this. It's not the flute, it's not the clarinets, it's not the horns, it's not the trombones, it's not the tubas, it's not the trumpets, but the saxophones were saxophones rule. Something awfully screwy going on around here. <laughs> this just in. This magic hair burst into flame today when Vicky Connor hit a wrong note. Mr. Finnegan pleaded today with the band not to make him angry again. He would like him when he's angry. <laughs> Mr. Young got very angry today after a change in his high blood pressure pills. Hey, what are y'all doing here so early? We're in a hurry to hawk our instruments. Yeah, but I don't remember when we were in a hurry to get them. Yeah, and I remember the first day of band camp. I came with my band shoes on. Me too, Anthony. <laughs> Guess what? Next year you won't be able to holler at me about my marching nor my drive. The rookie freshmen of 1986 didn't really know what to expect when they reported for band camp that summer. It was hot, humid, and they were expected to learn the routines, the music, as well as how to get along with the band director. Well, they worked hard. They learned the routines, and they mastered the music but they never quite figured out the other one. All the hard work and dedication paid off here as the Band of Blue took the field for the state finals.
2.32 the Lexington High School Yes! 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 A state 4A marching band champion Going 92.79, the Walkerboro High School. Yes, that's the Walkerboro High School band of blue coming out on top. I have a winter surprise for you. Life does seem to have its embarrassing moments. Interestingly enough, the road to the 1986 state championship wasn't all smooth for the Waldemar High School Band of Blue. During the halftime at this football game, the drum major forgot to signal horns up to the band. Quickly realizing her mistake, she tried to stop and reset. Unfortunately, stopping a 200-plus piece band is a little like stopping a freight train. It takes time. But she finally got them reset and cranked things up again. This time, it was picture perfect. Number 10. You think you're directly between two people? <laughs> Number 9. You bunch of sissies. Number 8. Yeah. Yes, sir. Number 7. Who's the band director? Me or you? Number 6. Just get off the field. Just get out. Just get off the field. <laughs> Number 5. This is the best band that I've ever had. Number 4. You are 40 miles flat. Number three, you couldn't blow your way out of a wet paper bag. Number two, you're on your own time now. <laughs> and the top quite of all times. Remember our trip to New York? Yeah! yeah. I have it on his hookers! Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
with enough nerve to go up to Mr. Young and say, Mr. Young, I'm not going to be able to come to practice. And what did he say? He told me that if I didn't come to practice, that he was going to kick me out. What did you do then? I told him I did. Nineteen eighty-seven was another distinguished year for the Band of Blue. Bill Young, Kathy Messick, and Tommy Finnegan put together one of the most inventive and difficult performances ever attempted by any high school band in contest. Watch and listen. Has anyone what? seen what Mickey Mouse is? Ah, oh, so that's what I sat on. Oh, <laughs> okay, children, it's time for us to get together and sing our favorite theme song, the Mickey Mouse song. In 1988, the Band of Blue distinguished themselves again with exemplary performances and halftime programs as well as during competition. This excerpt is from the 1988 state contest.
is your favorite band command? Seniors dismissed. Forever. Shred the Mardi Gras was the best ever. Yeah. yeah. Those women on Bourbon Street were pretty good too. Huh? What? what? Well, uh, let me explain yeah. myself a little bit better. Uh, how about that parade we almost marched in? Don't change the subject. Oh. I don't care more about the women. <laughs> <laughs>
although the band must have been disappointed about not being able to march in the Mardi Gras parade, these terrific, talented, tuneful teens had bigger fish to fry. And so they went ahead and had a good time in New Orleans anyway. Besides, what's a little Mardi Gras when you're scheduled to march in the world-famous Rice Festival Parade? But the ultimate thrill for the seniors of the 8990 band would come from a hitherto unknown location. The state contest was to be held in Easley. The question on everyone's mind was, where the heck is Easley? As they took the field, the seniors knew this was their last chance at a state championship. They'd done it once before as freshmen in 1986, but could they be the only class in Walterboro High School history to win two championships? Four years of practice. Four years of hot and tiring drills. Four years of discipline. Now it all came down to this moment.
had been long, the competition tough, but the waiting was the toughest of all. But everyone had their own individual way of handling the pressure.
Let's go party down the beach all Thank <laughs> you. 